Investing as we scroll through the coins as they're pumping today, as we discussed in our first video, the link between the dollar going down and retesting lower support and the room that it gave the stock market and the crypto is a chance to potentially move, in which they are, for a one-of-a-kind, company-made, computer software trading probability based trading alert, technical analysis, company philosophy, as I'm your most trusted source from blockchain technology and cryptocurrency breaking news and coin updates. Here I, YouTube, and in the cryptocurrency field, as old Vincenzo has brought back truth and most importantly, integrity back into the trading market. And if we briefly go over here and check out the U.S. dollar, right? The dollar's been on quite the rally, but yesterday and this morning, we were talking about how the dollar was sort of going down and it looked like it was going to come down to at least in the uh, uh, immediate time frame, come down and retest its blue fifth circle at about the $101, $102 level, which was about a 1.5% move down. And it looked like, and that's why we talked about this morning, that could give Bitcoin and crypto and last night and yesterday room to run. And we put up here as your upper resistance, your upper resistance right now is... Uh, the orange ring up here at the $31,470. And right now you're coming up to your initial resistance that has been at the 30181 in the blue fifth circle. But it looks like you're going to get enough to move above that right now, or you could potentially. And then your 31470 is your major upper resistance. And then if you can break above that and the dollar stay consolidates a little bit more, you could have a nice bear market rally maybe up to that $35,000 level. So we're going to keep an eye on this. But what you need to watch out is this current uptrend right now and the interaction at the blue and orange fifth circles, right? So that's what we're watching out for. You can see this uh, coin pumping up in a similar formation. That coin, same thing, still breaking down a little bit. Algo is in the middle part of this uh, heavily traded area. It's the last line of defense, actually to the shit house, it should be in orange. And you can see if you're trying to get bullish in here, you got to get above that 200-day moving average, but the 50 and the 100 and red and blue, respectively, are forcing the price down right now. Oh, you can see the old Dogecoin is still struggling, but still staying on the top part of the orange support zone. And we know the orange support zone is the last line of defense, a.k.a. get my shit together to the shit house, right? And uh, if you can't hold that area and you fall back into this box, you're likely coming to a local double bottom, right? XRP, you're in the same thing as kind of Bitcoin. Uh, we can move these lines over here and maybe say it's doing something like that. And then this is coming down with something like that, right? But you're in, a, you're in a bearish continuation pattern right now. But with the dollar retesting some lower uh, support, it could give even XRP some room to run, right? Oh, come on. Why the fuck would you get over? Jesus Christ. Fucking idiot. And then you're going to get right back over. Like, what are you fucking doing? Stupid motherfucker, dude. But maybe bring you back down to lower support, right? But if you can get a little bit bullish, 
you can get on top of the 200-day moving average, which you're getting close to right there, and then maybe you can pump up above that and make a run at that major upper resistance of 61 cents from the pattern breakdown, right? Or if you can't get some support and you start to sell back off, you're going to trade down to the lower support, current lower current local lower support at the bottom part of this orange support zone around 36 cents. Like, subscribe, and share. Peace and love as I travel across northern Indiana.